Hey guys, so here with the weekly lesson, I'm going to start doing a, I was doing it last summer, but then I kind of fell off with it. You can do a lesson every week. Uh, today, what I wanted to start with is how you should train the body. Some of you that don't have access to the gym here, you got to make up your own programs. This should help you out a lot. You look at body part split training like a bodybuilder would train, you know, arms or bicep day, shoulder day, hamstrings. It does not make any sense. So I'm going to talk about how you should train the body. If you train the body as a whole, okay, the body functions as a whole in sports or life or whatever, that's how you, you want to train it, okay? So you're really looking at the central nervous system. Anytime you train, you're affecting the central nervous system, the whole thing, all right? And you get adaptations through that. I've always said if you, were, if you had a guy that curled for the year, <clears throat> same genetics, let's say he was a twin, had a twin brother and his brother deadlifted for the year. The guy that's deadlifting for the year is going to have bigger arms. He's affecting the central nervous system more. Okay, so when you train the whole body together, you grow strength, power, and functionality. That could be for health or performance on the field. Okay? <clears throat> One of the things I was thinking about last night that makes sense is think about when you get sick. Does it just, you know, your arm get sick or your whole body? It's your whole body that gets sick. Okay, working out the same way, you've got to affect everything. Now, we might do an upper day and a lower day, but that, it's still not, let me train biceps today. That's just the stupidest way to train. Okay? And another thing I'm going to make the, uh, you know, one of the next lessons on, I want to briefly touch on here, was your hands are kind of like the plug to the rest of your body. Okay? Your hands can affect, everything's connected through your hands, so your grip strength is very important. To get your grip strength up, I can guarantee you your strength muscle size, everything will, will jump up, okay, particularly if you've not been training any grip work. So if you look at body part training, I can just blast this real quick, and don't forget, I, I competed in a body part, I know what body part training is, I've done it, uh, and just to prove it this year when I compete, I'm not going to do any body part, split training, and you guys will see the effects, okay, so there's nothing, no better way to prove it than actually doing it. A lot of people talk about it, but they don't actually apply it to themselves. Okay, so body part training, you're not getting the hormonal production you would from training massive amounts of the body, big compound lifts. If you look at like a pizza pie, you're just training a little bit of it. You're missing the rest of it. It's like Frankenstein, slapping all different body parts together, and you're not training them together. So when you go to, to, to sprint or something, boom, you're going to pop something. Okay, a lot of bodybuilders too train just in the sagittal plane. You get overuse injuries if you're doing that. Okay, you just train one plane of motion. You're stressing the tendons and the ligaments in the same uh, range of motion over and over. Okay? It could be useful sometimes. The only time would be, you know, if you look at like the, uh, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. So if you had to, to really get up with your chin-ups or pull-ups, not so much pull-ups, but chin-ups, okay, which is an awesome bicep exercise, but you can't do it. You'd hit barbell curls where you're raising up the elbow and the shoulder the biceps cross both the, the elbow and the shoulder, okay, so you get into the proximal and distal uh, attachments of the muscle, you're working both of them. If I just sat on a preacher curl machine, I'm just locked in, okay, all the stress is on one, one joint and one, one of the tendons, which is really going to lead to an injury, okay, so machines suck, we don't use machines. I mean, let's talk about like, you call it a glued hand machine or reverse hyper machine, but they're big compound movement type of thing. So when you're putting your programs together, think whole body, think big movements, compound movements, okay, if you're trying to stress conditioning, you, move, you push the pace a little quicker. Alright, so that's the lesson of the week. Um, next week we'll be talking about uh, hands and grip strength.